everybody. <laughs> this is Reverend Essie. Hey, you're not going to believe. I just did a whole video on do as he says, and I didn't have the microphone turned on. <laughs> hey, it's me. What can I say, right? But um, what I, the, what I want to say to you today is uh, it's Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. Uh, happy belated birthday to my daughter, Lexi Rochelle Scott. Um, I love her. I hope she, I hope you had a beautiful birthday, babe. But you know, God gave me revelation this morning and, um, I want to deliver this message to you as well. And what I want to say to you is do as he says, you know, there's so many of us, we think we're doing God's work and we're not really doing God's work. Um, Sometimes what we think, hey, good morning, Alexi. Hi, I love you, babe. I just wish you a happy birthday, happy belated birthday. <laughs> but um, sometimes we think that we're doing God's will and we're not doing God's will. And something happened to me recently where I did something for someone. And, you know, usually when you help somebody, give somebody something or whatever, you know, um, hi, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa Jane Wallace. God bless you. Hey, congratulations, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, as I was saying, sometimes when you do things for people, you think you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart. But did we ever stop? And because we hear that all the time, you know, I did not go to my heart. But did we ever stop and think that we're doing it because God told us to do it? Recently, I had I had a the last couple of days, I had a situation where um, somebody did something for me. They blessed me just by writing, but by writing to me here on Facebook, they blessed my heart. They blessed me, so you know, I blessed them, and. Um, I began to feel good because, and I feel like I didn't do it because of, because I wanted to, but because God wanted them to be blessed. I hope I'm conveying this correctly to you, but at that time, this person needed a blessing. I'll say it that way. Hey, and I didn't know it. And when I blessed them, I was, that's what I'm saying. I was the answer to their prayer. And I'm wondering how many times we want to do something for somebody and we back out of it, not realizing that God is trusting us to be an answer to somebody's prayer. Amen. That's why I say, that's why I named this, do as he says. Do what God tells you to do. You make him happy. You'll get your crown, amen. You'll get blessed. You'll get blessed by helping other people. God wants, I was gonna say needs, but God wants to be able to trust us down here on earth to do his will. To help other people to be good stewards, amen? God wants us to be good stewards over the kingdom, over, well, everything belongs to him anyway, right? So do as he says. Like for instance, there is a pastor that I've known for years, um, not real personally, but she's awesome. I think a lot of people know her. Pastor Cheryl Jones Ross and her husband, Frank Ross, recently, in the last couple of days, two or three days, lost their house, entire home, everything, to a fire. They call it a devastating fire. They lost everything. And they need help. So, you know, if you would like to help them, okay, you can just get in contact with pastors Melanie Davis or Pastor Teresa Baker on Facebook, and you can donate to them. You know, be God's hands. As I said, do as he says. Let's help one another. 
you know, let's do it because God told us to do it, because God needs us to do these things for one another. Amen. So I just got that revelation this morning <laughs> that everything we do should be done as unto God and not ourselves. It's not about us. It, it goes so much further than just us. It's not about us. Okay, if God can trust you with a little bit, okay, he can trust you with a lot. Amen. So I hope I got that across. Um, I hope I got that across to everybody. I hope my mic was on. <laughs> Amen. Do as he says. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, just um, tell him that you repent of all of your sins and you accept him as your Savior. You believe he died on a cross and rose three days later just for us. Welcome to the family of God. Amen. Amen. So... I hope I got the message across, and let me see. I hope that somebody's not writing me, telling me the mic is not on again. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, no, that's not it. Just wanted to make sure. Um, so after you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, and you told him you believe he died on a cross and rose three days later, <clears throat> and you want him to be your Savior, you're saved. And then just start learning of him. Find a Bible-believing church. Amen. And, and learn. it's never too late to learn of him. Welcome to the body of Christ, the family of God. Amen. Amen. And if you need to get in contact with me, you can get, uh, get in touch with me here on Facebook. Okay, Esther R. Scott. Or leave a message on New Birth Ministries. Amen. And as I said before, do as he says let god use you amen have a happy beautiful blessed wednesday because you're already blessed why i know you're blessed because you have god riding in you amen you you're the new ark god rides in you so who's going to mess with you amen you have god in you you could do all things through christ which strengthens you God is in you. God strengthens you. He knows how much you can take. Whenever it seems like things are getting hard, you got a lot of burdens, and you just don't think you're going to make it through this, yes, you can. God steps in. That's why I love it. Amen? Amen. You are an overcomer. You are a victor, and you have victory in Christ Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen? Reverend is signing off. I got to go check to make sure my mic was on this time. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. God bless you. And have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming on. God bless you, Alyssa. God bless you, Alexi, and everybody else who watches this video. All right. Have a beautiful Wednesday.